Tech Tip. My name is Derek and today we're going to be talking about the Zebra Stripes tool along with the Curvature tool. As you can see here, I have the Zebra Stripes turned on on this model and they are a little bit hard to read. If you're not familiar with how to actually read Zebra Stripes, this is where I'm going to tell you how to actually read them and how to go about figuring out what's curvature continuous and tangent and then obviously no continuity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over into this other little demonstration that I have here and each vertical line in all three of these diagrams do signify the edge that we're working with. So if we have a zebra stripe that comes in and leaves in no way regarded to how it entered or how it left, um, we will consider that consider that to have no continuity. So it comes in and leaves at a completely different point, different curve, everything. It's not continuous at all. If we have a line that comes in and then leaves at the same point but not in the same manner, in that case we're going to reference that as being tangent. Now if we have a zebra stripe that kind of comes in and leaves as if there were no actual break in line there, then we will consider that curvature continuous. So those are three different ways to read the zebra stripes to determine if, there, if there's any continuity or curvature continuous. So in this case, let's hop back into the model and we'll actually go about reading this. So in this case here, you can see that the, the zebra stripes come into this edge and then they touch, but they don't leave in the same manner. They don't act as if there's no edge there. So in this case, we're going to call that tangent. Now over here, this they don't really touch at all. So there might be no continuity in, in, any, in any shape or form here. What I'm going to go over here is I actually created a loft between the two and I made this top edge being curvature continuous and the bottom edge just tangent. So let's look at this. So the bottom edge, we can kind of see how it kind of comes in and it's got a slight little jerkiness to it. You can see it a little bit better over here. It kind of comes in and then it, has, it comes out at a different angle. So we can call that just tangent. Now, if we go to the top model, you can see as I start moving this around, there's there's no way to tell. So it acts as almost as if, as if that edge is not there. So in this case, we're gonna call that obviously curvature continuous. So those are the ways to, to go about reading it. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the curvature tool. The curvature tool is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, the green is good and obviously red is what's what's got a really harsh curve to it. So you can see in this case, we do have a little bit of an edge issue here. So we can use the curvature to determine if we have some, some bad surfaces or bad just finishes in general. But one thing that's really neat is we can actually use zebra stripes and curvature at the same exact time. So in this case, we can see in the zebra stripes that we do have a little bit of an issue going on in here that we'll have to manually fix. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to me talk about zebra stripes. I uh, hope you are able to catch another Cat Dimensions tech tip in the future. Thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.